After a bad storm and a long power outage, my neighbors decided to get an automatic backup electric generator that would switch on whenever there's a power outage. So this video will show the steps that it took to install this automatic backup electric generator. Now they've uh, got a pad that they're going to put in right outside the wall of their home. There's the electric meter. So the connections to the electric are nearby. They're also going to be connecting it to the natural gas service. So the generator will run from natural gas. If this was siding, it would have to be five feet. But since it's brick, it can go three feet. They're working on the trench in which the electrical conduit will run to connect to the house. This other trench toward the back is for the gas line, so the gas line can feed the generator. They will install alternating layers of gravel and dry concrete mix, and this makes a base that will absorb much of the vibration of the machine once it's placed on top and operating. I have to drill a hole through the brick wall to get the gas line out of the house over to the generator. This is the gas line. It comes on a reel. It's flexible and can run around the corner and everything. So the gas line goes through the wall inside the house right there. It goes underneath the deck and then goes around the back of the house uh, to the side where the generator will be located and uh, the gas line runs along the ceiling and then it turns and runs toward the front of the house where it's going to be attached right at this point up here this will be the shutoff valve for the gas for the generator here's a close-up view of this gas line it's a flexible I guess that's steel line and it's covered with pretty heavy black plastic. The gas line gets sheathed in this heavy jacket. Here's what it says on it. And that will protect it when it gets buried and protect it against mechanical damage. So here is the generator. It's a 20 kilowatt generator inside this box. And it arrived on the back of this trailer. With the generator still on the trailer, the installers made some final adjustments to it to prep it for being put on top of the pad. Generator is now sitting on the pad site and it's lined up with the conduit that were here earlier. You can see those down in there. The gas line will connect right here on the generator. That red bushing will come out and that's where the gas line attaches. The gas line is now installed in its final location and all the fittings are in place. There's a considerable amount of electrical work that needs to be done for this project and this is the first look at that. Right now I am putting in a battery charger circuit. This is the automatic changeover switch that uh, mm -hmm. switches from the generator power back to the utility when the utility comes back online and vice versa. Correct. The contractor also installed a 150 amp disconnect breaker so that the uh, breaker is sized the same as the service that's delivered to the house. The, the uh, automatic changeover panel has got a 200 amp breaker in it, thus the need for an external 150 breaker. Here's the electrical panel inside the house and uh, this big cable here was apparently added during the installation of the backup generator, this big cable right there. One of the final parts of the installation out here by the generator is they installed two ground rods. This is one of the ground rods right here and these are eight foot long ground rods and there's a, another one that's on the other side of the generator up there. It's a little hard to see. Those provide ground protection for the generator in the event of over voltage, short circuit, or lightning. 
With all the electrical connections done, the installer mounted the battery. This is the battery that will start the generator in the event of a power failure. With power now running to the generator, the installer set it up so that it had the correct time and was set for normal operation. With everything connected, it's time to start the generator, but first the installer had to bleed the gas line so that there was gas all the way out to the generator. Once that was done, the generator started right up. Okay, now we're going to test the generator and see if it'll come out automatically by killing the utility power. So uh, we're going to set everything to make it be normal. And here we go. Everybody ready? Right. Now your power's off in your house. The house should be out. Yeah. So it's going to tell your generator to come on. And there the generator fired up. That loud click was the switch over to the generator power. And that completed the installation of the backup generator.